불나이겠죠? 귀엽네. 성장 <웃음> 잔액은 먹고 살기 힘드니까 굉장히 티. 소화하는 음식이 뭘 먹는지 모르겠어요. 왜 내가 뭘 잘못했다고? What controversy can possibly drag down a famous idol? So Ney once had a promising journey in the spotlight. She started strong with regular comebacks, fun TikToks, relatable social media posts, but lately things seem to have taken a downturn. It's tough to see So Ney going through a rough patch lately. Her latest comeback got slammed for different reasons, like her mini album Game Plan dropped on August 7th last year, two years after XOXO. But folks thought it was kind of underwhelming. Some said it sounded too much like other songs by Teddy. So the new stuff from Sony Teddy didn't really impress anyone. People felt like it was old-fashioned and kind of seemed like they were just hoping it would go viral on TikTok. After two years of waiting, fans were let down. One fan summed it up pretty well, saying the song felt empty, like it was stuck in a 2016 pop vibe out. So, besides the song not really standing out, there's also some drama involving Sony the Black Label. A lot of folks noticed that the character in the video looked just like one from the cover of a manga called Yurus Yatsura. The only real differences were the direction the character was facing, the hairstyle. When fans compared the two, it seemed like Sony's character might have been traced from the manga. People were pretty upset because they expected better from a big company like the Black Label. Some folks argued that calling it plagiarism was a bit of a stretch. They said besides both characters being female winking, there wasn't much similarity. One person pointed out that the styles, hairstyles, mouths, noses, even the lighting in the artworks were totally different. Another commenter said it was ridiculous to accuse them of plagiarism because Rumi Takahashi isn't the only artist who draws in that style. The only things they saw in common were the raised eyebrows and the wink. Regardless of what some fans thought, the black label felt the resemblance was worth apologizing for to the original artist. They released an official statement acknowledging the similarities between the characters said they looked into it once they found out. They even edited the music video to take out the scene altogether so it wouldn't cause more trouble. In the end, they replaced it with something else. The company acted quickly to fix the problem, but some people were surprised it happened in the first place. It's pretty common for anime characters to share similarities in their looks, so getting inspired by an artist's style is usually fine. That didn't sit well with folks. Another problem people had with the album was one of the other tracks, Gold. It got a music video too. If people had issues with the title track, they weren't too thrilled with this one either. The backlash against Gold 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 was way bigger compared to the first track. Some folks thought the song sounded more suited for someone like Blackpink's Lisa just felt kind of cheesy. Plus, it didn't really fit in with the rest of the album. It definitely wasn't Sony's style to brag about money. Giving Sony that song didn't really make sense. A lot of people thought the visuals in the music video looked outdated and cheap, like it was filmed on a tight budget. Some even thought it was kind of problematic. Almost like Sony and the director were trying to cosplay as black hip-hop culture from the early 2000s. The golden grills and Cleopatra costume she wore didn't really help her case either. But since this was just a bonus track, it didn't really grab much attention outside of her usual fans who were already tuning in. Another thing she got a lot of flack for, unrelated to her recent comeback, was a joke she made on Twitter. On December 7th, Sony responded to a fan's tweet as part of a trend where the original poster listed artists they didn't like. The original poster kind of dissed several YG artists but praised Sony. When she replied to the tweet, she was being sarcastic, saying something like, Yay, they like me. Since Sony is pretty active online, a lot of people know she has a dry, sarcastic sense of humor. So, they didn't take what she said seriously and just laughed it off. But not everyone saw it that way. Some K-pop fans thought she was throwing shade at her fellow label mates, who are kind of big deals in the K-pop world. Even though fans said it was just a joke, no harm was meant, things didn't seem to be going well for her. Even people who thought it was just a joke agreed that she should have been more careful with her words. She's got to keep up her image. Shady tweets towards her label mates definitely don't fit the bill. After lots of online debates, Sony ended up deleting her tweet. But the damage was already done. Fans of the groups mentioned in the tweet were so upset that they started digging up past comments to prove that this wasn't the first time SOI had thrown shade at other YG artists. 
Back in June of last year, Somi was featured in Complex's Goat Talk series, where she chatted about the greatest of all-time foods, places, songs. When asked about a goat K-pop legend, she mentioned Teddy Park, who's known as a producer, a co-founder of the Black Label. She praised Teddy's work, how he's contributed to well-known YG artists like Big Bang, to any one Blackpink. Of course, she didn't mean Teddy actually created these groups, but some K-pop fans took her words super literally, twisted them to make Somi look bad. SOI is buddies with the other YG artists. She wouldn't risk her friendships or connections over a silly tweet. It really wasn't scandal-worthy, but some folks tried way too hard to turn it into a big deal. Starbucks filed a copyright infringement lawsuit against Starbucks Workers United, the union for its employees. Well, the union posted something in support of Palestine, but then deleted it. After that, the union account liked a pro-Palestine message telling people to skip buying Starbucks gift cards during the holidays. So Starbucks wasn't too happy about the union's stance on Palestine, which stirred up a whole controversy. People had mixed feelings about Starbucks after that. See, Starbucks didn't really make it clear where they stood on the whole thing. They kind of just stayed neutral, which didn't sit well with their pro-Palestine customers. Those customers organized protests, boycotts, it really hit Starbucks where it hurt their wallet. Starbucks has a big-time supporter of Israel named Howard Schultz. He's a major shareholder in Starbucks, has invested a ton of money in Israeli cybersecurity stuff. Because of that, people have been boycotting Starbucks like crazy and telling others to do the same. So there's been a lot of talk online about boycotting brands that support Israel. It's gotten pretty big. Even influencers, celebs are chatting about it. Everyone's kind of surprised when some posts a TikTok doing a makeup video. In the background, there's a Starbucks cup. But get this, it looks like the cup is empty. She's sipping from a reusable Starbucks cup from their 2023 holiday collection. SOI didn't actually drink from the Starbucks cup at all, but seeing it there made people think that maybe K-pop idols were getting paid to promote the brand, get their fans to buy stuff from them too. K-pop idols usually can't show logos or brand names unless they're getting paid for it. So, fans were kind of convinced that Sony was just doing it for the cash. Since Somi's pretty active online, knows what's up, people figured she must have known about the boycott but just didn't care. Sony ended up just deleting the whole TikTok. She had a chat with a fan. The fan was pretty sympathetic, understanding that had been through a lot. When Sony admitted she took down the video, she said something like, No more silly moves, just spreading love to everyone. She addressed the issue and didn't really satisfy the people who criticized her. Some folks pointed out that when Jay apologizes after being called out for sipping Starbucks, even promised not to do it again, people expected Somi to do the same. But just saying sorry wasn't enough for them. All in all, so Ni nee will probably bounce back eventually. When she does, it might seem like nothing ever happened. But she's lost a big chunk of her loyal fans who saw her as this cool, relatable person in the first place. While Sony's numbers might not take a hit, her reputation definitely did. Do share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button before you go. We will meet you in the next one.